Fixing LEDs to your TV is nice and simple, but it isn't always the case. Sometimes they will fall off or show excess hotspots. I'm going to show you a way you can avoid all that today in this video. They can be really effective for things like football games or just for using as a backdrop like in my case here. In this video, I'll show you the best LEDs to use on a TV like this and take it from this to something more like this. So you do get various types of LEDs, mostly two, three and five meter variants. There are some with absolute basic minimal features. There are some that are Wi-Fi and remote controlled and some that have app features. You also get some that are USB powered, some that are battery powered and some that are mains powered. Now today we're going to be using a USB powered strip. Can opt for something more professional like these that are main powered and branded like Govi but I'm not going to use those in this video. We'll save those for end of the video. So before we move off on the TV we're going to uh, use an IPA and a rag. Now if your TV is plastic you may need to be careful. So you might not want to use alcohol, you might want to use something like this, a grease cleaner. Once you've accessed the back of your TV and cleaned it effectively, go ahead and double check the measurements. 37 by 21, 9.6 feet. One of these kits you can expect to find some little clips which help pin it to the corners, a typical remote and your LED strip. We're gonna be powering these with USB power. Just simply unravel the LED strip. Now, these ones do not have the rubber. They don't have the additional rubber out layer on. So you will be able to manipulate these a little better to go around corners. I'll show you how we get around the corners in just a second. So first off, we're going to find our USB slot. Then to reinforce the corners, what I'm going to do is put one of these little plastic clips on each of the corners. This is how I do the bends. I'm going to start peeling the LED. Now, there is a correct method here where you're supposed to do a loop, but when you've got the sticky back and stuff like that, it starts to get a little awkward to do the loop to say the least. So now we're just going to keep peeling and we're going to stick this all the way along. Keeping it nice and straight. And we have a slight loop here. If you're using the rubber LEDs that have got like a rubber coating on, then I would definitely recommend using the loop method as bending them like this isn't so easy. But with these thin ones, it's absolutely fine. And again, keep them nice and straight as possible. I do have other sets of LEDs that I will show you how to install in other videos. We will do the professional method as well. This is just a suitable method, shall we say. If your TV's got a curve, you'll just have to work with it. It should still stick absolutely fine. Just make sure that you're not leaving any gaps or any areas that it can like pull on itself. Weave it around and make it all nice and firm. Then we're on the last stretch then, so we're just going to continue to peel this and stick it to the final side. We're just going to need to go underneath that cable. And it looks like we've got a little bit left over. We do actually have a cut line exactly where we need it to be. But because there's just two LEDs left over, I think I'm just going to tuck them around the top and we'll just double that over. Because the TV is not flat against the wall, that shouldn't cause any hot spots. That should look fine. And there, we now have our LEDs fitted to the back of the TV nice and cleanly. We'll hide this, don't worry. These controllers, they also have some sticky tape on the back, so you can go ahead and stick this down as well. And then if you want to use some more plastic clips, you could go ahead and cable manage as well if you really wanted to, but I'm fine with that. That's absolutely fine for me. Don't forget that is the infrared controller, so you don't want to hide that section. 
you want to make sure that it's kind of left hanging out so the infrared receiver can still receive its signal. Although this is a basic set of LEDs, they do have Wi-Fi connectivity and they also have app control and remote control. I will leave them linked down in the description for your convenience. All of the links are Amazon affiliate links and you are directly supporting the channel by using them so a huge thank you to everybody that uses our links. Guys, I think that looks quite good. I'm more than satisfied with that. It makes the TV stand out. It just pops a lot better than what it did before. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think that looks better with the LEDs or without? And now, if you wanna go and watch a football game or something like that, you can easily select your favorite colors. You can put it on random for movies and things like that. You can cycle through them if you want. You can just get them to cycle through the various colors. They are also sound responsive and there's a QR code on the controller which gives you access to the application if you want more access to the controls. And if I'm watching a movie, I'll normally have them on reactive. But yeah, I think that does a really nice job. Really easy, nice and simple thing to do. And it really does make the TV look a lot better. Any TV on the wall, if it's got an LED strip behind it, in my opinion, I think it makes the TV stand out and looks a lot better. If you come behind the TV, you can see them, but nobody's going to be looking behind your TV. And if they do, you should tell them to get out. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I would say this is a really nice and simple upgrade to do on any TV. If you found the video helpful at all, or you enjoyed it, or enjoyed any part of it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It all helps us grow, and every single like helps us more than you know. You can also support us in many ways. You can leave us a super thanks, and you can also join our memberships now. We do have three different tiers you could take a look at if you're interested in that. Guys, thanks to each and every one of you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you, and until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.